There once was an idea brought forth from the great mind of Okada of a pro wrestling world cup, bringing it back, but not, not just like an indie world cup like they used to do at what culture pro wrestling. Uh, but let's get everybody involved. Let's get WWE, AEW, New Japan, AAA, uh, CLL, CMLL, Ring of Honor, Impact. Let's get all of them together. And let's just get the best of their best. And he said he would call Tony Khan and Triple H himself to get it done. But unfortunately, as we all know, 99.9% chance that will never happen. Until today, here at Pro Wrestling Proverbs, we have the power of a PlayStation 5 and a copy of WWE uh, 2K22. Yeah, we're going to make it happen for you. We are going to put together a group of 64 individuals. But we're not going to have you sit through a 64-man tournament, as that can get long, that can get strenuous. So instead, we're going to take a note from Dusty Rhodes in the WCW, and they used to do a tournament where it would start out as random tag teams. And the tag teams would face each other, and the winners of that would be put into the battle bowl. We are doing that here. We're going to have a random tag teams of 64 of the top and most favorite wrestlers across the world. And then once they get past that first round, once their team wins, they will then be put into a tournament of 32. Uh, as he said, we have representatives from New Japan. We've got Okada, Tanahashi, Tama Tonga, Jeff Cobb, Kenta, Zack Saber Jr., Will Ospreay, and Jay White. Triple A, we have Andrade, Pentagon Jr., Ray Phoenix, and Black Taurus. For CMLL, we have Gran Guerrero and Ultimo Guerrero. For Ring of Honor, we've got Claudio, Mark Briscoe, Samoa Joe, Brian Cage, Axe and Cash of FTR, and Dalton Castle. For Wrestling Noah, we have the legend. The Great Muda in his retirement tour, as well as Rob Van Dam. Impact Pro Wrestling, we've got Josh Alexander, Moose, Kazarian, Jonathan Gresham, PCO, Sammy Callahan, Mike Cardona, Mike Bailey, and Bully Ray. For AEW, we've got Adam Cole, Brian Danielson, Chris Jericho, Darby Allen, Ethan Page, John Moxley, Keith Lee, Kenny Omega, Orange Cassidy, Jay Lethal, Adam Page, and a winner of an upcoming Battle Royal. For WWE, we've got AJ Styles, Sheamus, Gunther, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, Kofi Kingston, Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and a winner of an upcoming Battle Royal. The NWA's two participants is Rock and Roll Express's own Ricky Morton and Davey Boy Smith Jr., GCW has one spot, and of course that one has to go to Nick Effin Gage. MLW's representation comes in the form of Mance Warner and Jacob Fatu. And finally, we have two outliers, two free agents. Nick Aldis, who earlier this year left the NWA after having disagreements with Billy Corgan, and Kota Ibushi, who also left the New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, it was actually within the last month that his contract is officially up. Uh, so they are both free agents. Where is MJF? Where's Roman Reigns? For his two fans, where, where's Tyrus? Um, MJF, when reached out about this tournament, refused to be in it. He said he was not going to travel. He said he was not going to share the ring with some of this scum. In hearing this, Paul Heyman then demanded that if MJF was not going to be in it, that Roman Reigns should not have to be in it because he has been a champion for longer and he has been a more dominant world champion. And as for Tyrus, we only have so many spots. And he's not getting one. Sorry, I, I Billy think, Corgan. I think he's booked on Fox News the day the tournament's supposed to happen. So, Yeah, he's yeah. Not be Billy there. Corgan made a wrong choice.